Hey there guys, this is Wesnator88 here, and I'm back again with another episode of Fishing Planet. Now, today they've just done an update for Fishing Planet, which obviously you guys may have seen on the channel. Uh, so, as you noticed in the video I quickly did of what they've added, they had a new mission. Let's never let Exploration 2. So, we're going to track that one, because we're going to go do that right now. Now, obviously, what I'm going to take is my Nero 1010. Obviously, with the. Uh, Callisto, sorry, my brain just went completely dead on that one. Uh, with an eight power nine fluoro, and obviously, I'm using a titanium leader with minnows. Now, these setup will get me the pike for the common carp, mirror carp, and the tench. I'll be mostly using my standard basic float rod setup, which you can even get for free on the consoles. But obviously, I've had to buy this on the PC version, so I'm using the standard feed itself and I'm gonna take yes I'm gonna take my start rod with me as well on the float setup so we can go do Lesna Villa so let's go there and let's try and get these fish in I'm just gonna, I was kind of mostly surprised they had these this update in right so obviously we're now at Lesna Villa obviously we've got quite a bit of a goodish peak to start with next day would be better but we'll be fine with just the peak we have now Obviously, with the uh, Northern Pike, we're going to be trying to fish for around these, yes, these areas where there's some lilies. So I'm going to try and go over here, because this is where I usually catch my Northern Pike a lot easier. Uh, the common carp, the mirror carp, and the tench you should find anywhere with the feeder a lot easier. So, like I said, I'm going to go over here and try and catch my Northern Pike. And wow, they've actually changed the loading screen here as well that is awesome oh i don't i just okay i guess because there was an update there to show that information so we're gonna go for number one now i'll say i need to oh wow they've actually changed don on yeah anyone on the uh, apply i'm gonna say anyone on any, any of the uh Consoles, just uh, be careful because they have changed the sense for it, obviously. Uh, oh, that's the wrong thing. It was. Uh, so we're not going to go that high. We're going to go. Oh, wow. That is really slow. Uh, we'll go for about 30 inches. Should be fine. Now, like I say, we're going to aim for these lily pads, but there's some more down here, which will make my fishing a lot easier. Like I say, I'm going to use minnows. So here we go. Now this is the perfect spot I've found for getting the pike. So I'm going to aim here and hopefully catch them. Really easy. Hopefully it won't take too long. And they've really changed the uh, sun rising. So I wonder if they changed the sunset on the graphics. Because, wow. It looks a bit different. I think they've actually improved the graphics slightly. Don't quote me on that though. Um, so that should be my... Nope. Let's try again. Oh no. Actually no, I'll go with the size 2 hook. Because obviously I need to see if I can catch them on this hook for you guys. Normally, I'm going to say this. Normally I'll go for a one hot hook. So I'm going to see if I can catch them on the two hook. If not, I will up it to a uh, one hot hook. Just so I just get the pike more than the perch. Unfortunately, perch are very greedy. Uh, so I'm guessing that's actually my pike going around at the minute. And that should go down pretty soon because the way that's going at it. And I think they changed my bobber. But the distance part, I think they've changed it. You beggars. Now I've changed that soon. Come on. Snap. Snap to it. Oh my god, that didn't even take. Why did that not take? That was weird. That should have taken. Because I. I should have hooked it. Weird. Okay. 
try again. <laughs> that should have taken it. And it didn't take it. That's it. They've changed the mechanic in the game, which is going to make it harder. So I, I'm guessing some people are having problems with the update, so I'm asking what happened. There we go, and that's going to be another perch. Oh, no, that was my northern pike. Awesome, right. Right, so we've now got that. So as you can see, you can catch the Northern Pike from over there. Uh, obviously, if you want a bit more of a chance to catch the Northern Pike, I'm just going to go over to the area where you can catch them. I know it's a bit of a walk, guys, but I'm just trying to help anyone out who's doing this for the first time where you can catch the Northern Pike. Again, use the small minnows, because they will help. Now, another good location is around here. So, aiming anywhere between these will be absolutely fine. Now, I'm going to quickly change to my... Let me just do that, so I can get to my other side. Now. This spot over here, which you've seen me do in my contest for the Lesnar Villa Fishery contests, um, which was catch them all. This is going to be the spot where I'm going to catch the common mirror carp, hopefully, and hopefully my tench. So, here's the spot. Uh, no. What is it? Is it number... So I'm going to put my stand down. I'm going to go to a number two. Because that's what, obviously where my feed is at. Obviously I'm using the two hook. Cast that out. I'm going to lower the drag on that just a bit. Because I haven't done it in a while. Just clip that in there. And then we're going to have this out as well. And it's that to let it out. And I'm going to shorten the the length to about 40 and I'm going to change it to let's say we'll go with bread one just in case now you can probably catch the northern pike between these two as well um, but I haven't really tried too much so I'm not going to say they can so we're going to try and get our two carp now tench may take a bit longer than the two carp and then again, it might not. So it's just a bit of a waiting game, guys. Now, I know, obviously, I've caught my mirror carp around in that area there. Which is about 100 feet out. It can be up to about 90 as a minimum. Um, but again, you could catch them around here as well. Now, obviously, carp are more bottom feeders, as anyone who's actually fished will actually know. So using a feeder rod will probably give you a bit more of a high chance of catching the carp. Uh, and obviously, I use mostly Floraline, and that should, I'm hoping, be one of the carp, and I can actually drag that up. And you see, people are actually doing the challenge as well, so I'm not the only one around it. Yeah, I think they've improved a few of the graphics as well, because, oh my god, the morning here looks beautiful. Either that I'm just really sad and think that, but wow, I think they've actually improved the um, graphics for it quite a bit. Again, it might just be me thinking that. Come on. Yeah. 
And that is definitely one of the two cups. That was the common cup. Pretty good size. I'm happy with that. And you know what? We're going to send out hopefully about 100 feet. I'm hoping it's 100 feet out. I'm not sure what the conversion is, guys. I do apologize. Um, for me, that's a bit far. About there should be fine. And so far, I'm not catching anything on my normal basic standard float up. So I'm going to change that. And you know what? We're going to put in some. No, we'll go some. I was going to say cement for the lean and balls, but. And we'll add it here just a little bit. I know it's being bitten. I will change. Don't worry. No, we'll drag a drag up again. I know it's going to put a lot more tension on my reel than anything else, but I'm fine with that as long as the line isn't. The yeah, line's fine. Like I said, that's going to take a lot of tension on my reel. Like I said, I am trying to break the reels and the. <laughs> the rod so having these break aren't gonna be too much of a problem again we've got another common carp oh, i wasn't real carp caught the first time okay i should really clip my lines for another distance but as long as i hit right about where the reflection is over there guys i'm just looking for the posts obviously for them posts in the water and trying to get for about that end so that's about right No rest for the wicked, eh? I guess. Uh, I guess this is pretty much the quickest I've actually had these bite. If only this happened on the uh, fishing events. <laughs> uh, well, oh, this doesn't seem like a very heavy fish. So it's probably something really simple. The youngster, anyway, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm not going to be too worried. So about there again. Now, usually when you get one cup, you get most of them all in the same spot. So I'm going to clip that about there. And set it down. And try and get this one out. I'm going to go for about, yeah, 50 should be fine. And aim it for about there. Not going to guarantee that I'm going to get some on my float. But hopefully I'm not too far on the depth. I'll be absolutely fine. Again, the only one we're going to have a bit of a problem with is getting the tench. They can be a bit finicky at times. So hopefully we'll catch it. That line's moving. So that's definitely... That's another... Am I getting the same carp again? Or is this something smaller? Yeah, same carp again. Okay. So we're going to aim a bit more. Say about there-ish. Just make it a bit more. Intriguing. Let's just see what we get. Again, sometimes the fish can choose what they want to go at times. So we're going to actually do this one ourselves with float. I mean feed it. And wow, that's really biting. Come on. Need a bit more tension. Well, they've actually improved that just a little bit on the graphic side of things as well. Interesting. Just bend it a bit more. Right. There we go. Just so we have a bit more of a bend. Now, as you can see underneath the top, underneath the bread wolf honey, you'll see there's a slight bend in the rod. Now, obviously, as you can see in person on the actual pot of the rod, is actually bent in, which is what I'm actually looking for, which is what a lot of fishermen and women actually do. They actually make sure with the feeders they have that slight bend and obviously as much tension about moving that bait. So we're going to see how long this takes. Hopefully it won't take too much longer to get these fish in. It shouldn't take too long. Well, I'm hoping it doesn't anyway. 
pipes fish in. It shouldn't take too long. And as you can see, what some of them are doing are actually fishing towards where the lily pads are. Or just hoping the fish are biting. But yeah, they're fishing exactly the spot I'm on about. Even next to the reeds, and obviously that's my float roll that's gone. And that's my feeder gone. Feeder can start moving. No, oh, someone's got the mirror cut. Come on, let me see if I've got one as well. No, I've got a roach. Oh, wow, that's definitely a, a bigger one of the carps. Oh, there's me no tench. Oh, yeah, come on. We need a tench, we need the mirror carp. Get the common ones pretty easily. But we do need to get that mirror one in. So, let's see. Let's aim for, I'm going to aim for over there instead this time. Something a little bit different, I know. How to get a mirror carp. And again, guys, that is in normal. Um, now. now, I'm not going to worry about the distance this time. So that's my. Okay. Now, obviously, on this part of the game, they could have a specific location depending on the day of the game that you're playing. It's like the tench there, finicky lot, and silver bream. Again, I'm going to aim for the far distance over there. And yeah, guys, I know this is taking a little bit of time. Like I said, they have done this update, so they may have changed a few of the mechanics on the game. And they have changed a few of the settings. Because I usually have a small bobber, and I didn't realise. Because usually I wouldn't see the bobber that big when I zoom. It'd be a lot smaller, so I've got to change that down. Uh, now, obviously, if you're at a high level... And using a carp rod, obviously you guys are going to have a bit more of a chance of getting these. And a bit easier. Because um, your rods are specified for carp only. Which obviously would be peas, sweet corn, even the uh, the boils. And all that lot. Um, so, you guys will probably have an easier time than anyone who's first starting off. Obviously I'm trying to use basic bait to bring these fish in. Um, for the level that would be at. Now, is that still floating there? Which it is. I'm going to quickly change that scent for my bobber. Uh, just make sure all these sounds are the way I want them to be. Yes. So I need to make sure I hear the bobbing, the biting. Uh, now, just in case, the sound I need was obviously corn and peas, they will do well. Dibbles, sweet, you know, sweet corn, sweet peas, marshmallows, bread with honey, boilers, and pellets. That goes exactly the same for the mirror cup, which obviously says bread with honey, which I'm using, but not again. And tench. Ah. 
crawl cut fish, blood worms, night crawls, red worms, and leeches. Unfortunately, I don't have any leeches. I don't have any crawl fit, but I should have the blood worms with me. And I might have the night crawls, but I've definitely got red worms. So, let's see what bait I did actually bring. I should have double checked before I started fishing. I have brought the blood worms with me. Awesome. Anyway, let's uh, try and get these in. Sometimes you will just find the spot bang on every time. Um, other times it might take a little bit longer. And obviously, with a float rod, you've got to have the right depth, like I said. So technically, <sighs> throwing it out and testing if it's the right depth. I might be able to um, increase that to maybe 60 inches. And again, I should have aimed for around there. So between them two bits. Which I'll do next time with my float. And hopefully get some more bites like I did before with the feeder. Now obviously as you saw, bread or honey should be really good with a mirror carp. Uh, obviously at the minute I'm not doing too well with the bread and honey. So hopefully we'll get them in. Obviously I was hoping to get the tench, but I'm hoping to also get the mirror carp with this float rod. So we'll see which one catches it first. And we'll hope for the best and whereabouts it was being picked from. Uh, but if it needs to be the tent, I'll use blood worms. Which is a good thing that I brought some blood worms with me. Obviously, if you had the sm uh, crawfish cuts, just make sure you have the right hook for them as well. But blood worms should be fine. Uh, two hooks should be great for them as well. I'm not sure they've added any more uh, hidden missions anywhere. But we will soon find out. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm not at the high level. So I don't know what the new location, Congo River, what missions they are till I get to that level, unfortunately, guys. But hopefully, like I said, we'll catch something. We'll bring it in. And I'm hoping we'll get that mirror carp. So I'm guessing Miracop's one of the harder ones to try and catch. Which we will definitely soon find out. Roach. Of course it is. So I need to aim for about there. Nice one, someone's caught the Miracop. Sometimes you'll notice that it does glitch on the top right underneath with your photo, so you've got to now keep an eye on it. You could just reset it down and hopefully pick it back up. Come on. I think it's going to be too short. Now what I'm going to do is aim it so it goes through these, but I'm going to give it a little lift so it doesn't get snagged. Right. As soon as you want to play funny, we're going to go with blood worms. And we're going to add an extra bit of length on it. I'm going to aim for about there. Again, hopefully we're going to get this tension a bit easier. That is strange. Hopefully it won't take as long to get this tent with the blood worms. Again, it might do. Obviously, we've got to pick where it goes from great to really bad. So catching fish at this time period can be a bit more difficult for us. It's going to get a bit slower pretty quickly. If it was on the next day, I'd probably be catching a lot more quickly. But we will soon see how this goes. Obviously, this is definitely going to be a carp. No, my luck is going to be a common and not the mirror, but we'll soon see and find out. Come on. And... <laughs> Everything but the one I want. Okay. 
that does happen. Gonna hopefully get it just about on the front. Yeah. Gonna let that settle. Bring the tension just enough. And just bend the lug just slightly. Just so we have the tension just perfect. Obviously now I want to zoom in. Which unfortunately I'm a bit too Let's see, let's just do that quickly. Yeah, and that's about right for my float for me. I'm happy with that. And unfortunately, I can't zoom in and keep an eye on it now. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. And this is taking a bit of time. I'm actually surprised how long this has taken. But, as they do say, things can take time. Well, it's going on. And now we should have the tench. I'm hoping we've got the tench. I'll be a bit worried if we don't. And of course, the other rod goes off exactly at the same time as we were reading this in, and that's not the tench, is it? You greedy perch. Come on. What? Well, that took the bait. So that might be my mirror. Not going to say it was, but the way that I'd done that, that may have been my mirror. Dang it. I'm surprised I haven't got a tench yet. Okay, let's try it again. Well, this definitely... Uh, dang it, this is going to be... A, it's going to be a carp, I think, but... Not the one we're after. Nope. Yeah, it is, but not the one where. Oh no, it's a silver bream. <sighs> Everything's taken but the one I want. Let's add a bit more length onto that. Let's see if that can just float from. All I need to do is make sure this just topples. I might be able to add more to it. Saying that, even night crawlers might be good, but I think the uh, perch will be taking it. Or roach. <laughs> that would be taking it more. Um, I'm going to say, if you do come to this location, probably use the crawfish cuts. That, mm, would prove a lot better for you guys. Uh, probably using the feeder might benefit you as well. It's just obviously at the minute this is taking a bit of time to get the depth right uh, with a float rod. Come on, just take the bait. Thank you. That is a perch again. <sighs> I can't believe this. And right, I'm switching my locations now. Uh, let me just do this. I'm going to switch my location. I'm going to go back to over there. Haha, <laughs> funny. Sorry. So I could have spawned at this one. Wow, that is actually a lot quicker than before. Wow, that is really quick. Before when you're fishing on location, it took a bit of time to load it. 
That is really quick. They've actually improved the quickness of you loading into a map. Right. So obviously I'm going to come over to is it this spot or the next one over? I think. Is it this one? Or is it over here? I think it's this one next to the lilies. Yeah, definitely this one. Now, obviously, I haven't played this on the console in a very long time. If I was on the console, I'd have the marker already. If I'm not mistaken, hold on, let me just unclip that. It's about. Where's the splashing? That's about 168 feet out. There it is. Some distance, yeah, pretty much close to it. Where's my number one? I'm gonna aim for about where well, they're biting in the center there. So I've got about my distance for my other feeder spot now. Usually, that will give me the carp. Usually, obviously, the other location hasn't been giving me the carp I've been needing. So I'm hoping this one will. Like I say, Tench is going to be a bit more of a tricky one because obviously they're a bit in a bit finicky. Dang them. <sighs> that hopefully will be a bit more lucky this time. I'm hopefully catching them. Obviously, anyone who's watched the short version will be like, oh, it didn't take that long. Anyone who's watching the actual long full version, yeah, it is taking this long, guys. But, at least I'm having a bit of fun. I'm getting some experience in. And I'm doing something that I like doing. And to be honest, with it being that temperature, I prefer that than the actual temperature we have here at the moment. Don't catch anything at the moment. What I might do is I might fast forward the time to the next day just so I can get maybe a bit more of the fishing a bit quicker and have more of a peak with them. Right, that is definitely a strong fish, very strong. And if this is my Miracarp, I'll mark it on the map. So I'm going to mark it anyway, no matter what, because I need my marker for this fish. Come on. I'm not going to lose you this time to slack. That's definitely a mirror. Yes. That is my mirror carp. Awesome. Let's just add my marker on that one. Uh, out. Yes, awesome. So, obviously, that's the mark, uh, coordinates. That's the word I was looking for on the map. So, obviously, I've got a mirror cup just there, guys. This is usually a spot I usually do fish as well. And that's always been my favorite spot for trying to catch my carp. When I start playing this on the consoles, that was always my go-to spot, especially for a contest. On for contests, it doesn't always do too well. But 
and perch again. Do I have... Okay. <sighs> okay, let's see what baits they've got in the shop. Everything but what I need. I haven't got, if I had leeches, I know I'd be... <sighs> if you guys do have leeches, use leeches. Because it's the only one here that'll take leeches. <sighs> Red worms, this, this is going to be fun. Right, blood worms. Now, let's try some blood worms on that one as well. Now, with the feeder, I'm going to try and aim for the same spot where I caught the... Mirror carp. And hope for the best. Again, I know the potential are probably more of a feeder type anyway, so I'm just going to go down. And we're going to hopefully, I'm going to add again some more length onto the leader. Just to see if we can hit the bottom of this place. Let's go for about the centre there. Oh! Right, so 80 is definitely too long. Got that fish on, which is good. All we'll do is we'll move our float. We'll get up, so maybe about 75 should be fine. But this is somehow my tension, I'm going to be really. No, it's again, it's a perch. Will you stop eating my blood worms? Dangies. Wow, I'm surprised they broke their line. And they left as well. Wow. I'm actually shocked they broke the line, look. I think a lot of people are trying to go for the tench as well. Now again, night crawlers. Wow, that's actually still gone down. Okay, there has to be somewhere which. Okay, this is. All right, I'm gonna have to. Okay, so it's about 73 then. Okay. Let's try this now. Let's hope this is going to be right. Bang on. So that should be the right depth now. That should just be hovering on the bottom of the water. Uh, looks like, oh, they do now have to change it. That's good. Because they'll get a bit more distance than casting straight in front of them. Wow, I'm surprised it's taken me this long to get attention. I know some people are like, how did it take this long? Well, again, guys, don't forget, my peak period drops straight away from the start. So, again, if I ain't got one by, when well, it says 8 a.m., I'm going to literally get skipped to the next day. And I'll skip the time more to a peak period so then I can see exactly what's going on with the fish. I should get a bit more bites a bit quicker. Like I said, it could be the fact that the peak's really short at the start of the day for here. So, or what I'm doing at the minute for day one. So, we're going to see and hope that isn't the case. It probably is the case. And his float needs to be shortened. Length's a bit too short. 
Oh, something's got a tench. Unfortunately, I can't really. Actually, I'm, let me just do that. And they are over there. In the spot I was actually fishing. <laughs> but they caught a tench. I don't know. The one time I ca try to catch a tench and I can't. Now and then they may be using red worms. Uh, we'll soon find out. And that's now. Wow, everything's been. Alright. Oh, let me just change that quickly. Now, obviously, I'm using red worms, and I've now finally got a strong bite, so this is possible my tench. If it's a perch, I'll be really annoyed. I'm not going to lie, if it's a perch, I'm going to be very annoyed. Um, so, hopefully this is the tench, and I think that is. Slack on that as well. Come on. Yeah, that is definitely the tent. No. That's the carp. Why? Dang it. Okay, so. Catching it on. I, 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 I don't know. I, I can't believe that I'm catching everything but the fish jump. How is that hovering it? Okay, that's very weird. And yet, yeah, that's at a 73 depth. Huh. Interesting. Let's bring this in. Right, let's just put it down to a 70. And you know what? Let's go for a red worm. Why not? So we've got 109 of them. This is going to be interesting. But with obviously my feeder and my float rods, I'm both using fluoro lines for them. Just so they don't actually see the line as easy. Uh, Well, and obviously there are challenges to clean up the lake, obviously getting snagged and bringing them in. Um, technically, I should really try and do that so I'll get some bait coin, but I just I'll do it in my spare time. And as for all lakes, if you ask if um, you're in one, then obviously it'll be 10, and then I think it's about 25 the second time, I think. Uh, so you get a bit of bait coin for doing that. When you clean up the lakes, and of course, I'm still waiting to catch these fish. <laughs> Come on, Tench. That really just surprised me that I caught a carp on red worms. That's almost 8 a.m. Now again, somebody who's fishing here might have a peak period more than what I am. Obviously they may have a different day or night or daytime cycle than what I've had. Or they might have fast forward their time so they've got a better uh, day period than what I have. Uh, so come on. There we go. I had to swing that a little bit. 
That's a little bit stronger, but I think that's another perch. I'll be shocked if my actually could be a roach. That's definitely not a tench, though. No, I was completely wrong. There's another part. No, carp. <sighs> okay. So we're getting carp around there. We're getting carp over there. We're getting carp over the other spot. It's just my tench. <laughs> oh, come on, be a tench. I heard you. Come on. You out there, be a tench. One of you two, be a tench. If not, I'll be banging my head against a brick wall. Hopefully this doesn't take more than an hour. <sighs> it's getting to the 50 minute mark and that's getting me a little bit worried. But, at least you guys can see what fish I'm catching and where I'm catching them at. And, exactly how much I'm making. Wow, I've almost filled my net at this rate. That's coming in pretty easy. That's going to be another perch. <sighs> I knew it. I shouldn't have actually cast this out. Come on, you shouldn't be like that. Why are you being... Come on, just... Come on, take it, take it, take it, just take it. Are you actually trying to... You are... believe this is as well. Silver bream. <sighs> you know, I'm going for around here. I'm surprised the depth's fine there, but weird. Come on, just take it, 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 take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. Yes, guys, I'm going mad. Just trying to find a tench. I don't know. I don't want to have to leave to come back just for a tench. Not that I'm not going to lose anything. Because I've already paid for coming here anyway. Take it, come on, Tench. I have a feeling they use night crawls. <laughs> Either that, they'll be really lucky. Uh, come on, I just need a tench. All I'm looking for is one tench. Please be my tench, please, 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 please. <sighs> You're not going to be my tench, are you? Everything 
about my tench. Oh, no, struck it when I pulled it up. Dang it. Means it's now scared off the fish that was there. Dang it. Oh dear. Now what? Try again. But this is like normal fishing, guys. You either have uh, your luck or you don't. <laughs> and fishermen and women do change the baits, the hooks. Even a rod, if they have to, just to try and get the one fish they want in. Oh, now it's just being cheeky. Let's see what they used. No, no. I don't know, I've got a problem here now. Don't know if you guys have noticed that. It wouldn't actually let me catch the fish. Now is... Are they going to be honest and tell me what they used? Or are they going to not tell me? Now this is a possibility. Attach, but it might just be another carp if it's a carp i'm gonna be shocked no nope. finally my tench wow guys that actually took a bit of time catching that one yep 50 minutes it took me all to go just to try and get a tench and hey we've got a mini bass jig obviously some cash and a big coin oh, in my backpack awesome so, yes, we finally caught that tench. Gonna bring this in. Not gonna complain, you know, it may have taken me a bit of time. Yeah, guys, uh, it was actually in the same location as what we just had. As you can see, basically exactly marked on the same spot. So, yeah, I'm not gonna need that, but I will need the other one. Um, I don't know. Delete. Uh, of course, I can't. Ah, there we go. They've changed the thing for all. Sorry, I'm used to more console than anything else. More percent buns. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully. I was able to inform you and you're able to see exactly where to catch the fish. Uh, as you can see, it's exactly in the spot where I caught my mirror carp. Obviously, we caught a common carp there. And uh, we weren't too far from catching our pike. Uh, there was another place which obviously saw my fish right over there. Which means I was able to catch my uh, carps. Uh, let's see, where's this either person fishing from? Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's fishing from over there, so he's probably fishing the other side. Let's just have a look. It was just down here somewhere. So I was loading in people. So he was, there we go, just around here. Obviously, he's got more of a rod set than what I do. So he's using. feeder float and a feeder so he's actually fishing just about around the spot over this side guys before I was fishing because obviously I was over there so he's fishing a bit closer over here so again he's probably caught the tension from there 
Anyway, guys, hopefully, like I said, this was able to help you guys out a little bit. And, yeah, you can get them on blood worms. You can get them on, obviously, the red worms, night crawlers. And, obviously, the baits that it recommends. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And, again, hopefully this was able to help you out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off and do a few things. And I'll see you back on the lake later on. Have fun, guys. Bye for now.